for race uh, number three, Judy Olsen, novice. All set for race number three. Away, Scarlet's turn began OK, but Watia pushes up and goes to the front there. Scarlet's return handy in second. Third place, there was Blinding Lights and going forward. Nitro Legacy from widen the track, broken free. Further back, turn the key, Warhope Jinx and uh, Rush for Rosa. Bunchfield onto the corner. Scarlet's return, tackled by the inside, but Blinding Lights. Blinding Lights hit the front. Scarlet return comes. Maybe Scarlet's return bobbed and one from Blinding Lights. It's a photo. Warhope Jinx there as well and out widen the track. Making ground, there was rust for roses, and further back then we had Watia turn the key, broken free, Nitro Legacy all up there. So good finish to race number three. But uh, a judge will sort this one out. There was a bunch of field going across the line. Scarlet's return was prominent, I thought, one and has. Number two, just in a time of 22.66. Early section of 7.53, 15.13. Now, Blinding Lights will be second, number four. And seven will be third, Warhope Jinx. So, very close finish, but uh, numbers are two, four, seven, and one, a half ahead by a half ahead in 22.66. A half ahead by a half ahead, 22 and 66. Numbers are 2471, early split 753, 1513. And two Scarlet's return for Jay Schaefer gives him a winning double races one and three. Blinding Light second, trained by Glenn Olson. Seven Warhope Jinx third, Scott Atkinson. And number one Watia, 2266 the run, half ahead by a half ahead.